I recently started experimenting with the rotary or A axis of my CNC router which uses the Linux CNC control software. But I found that the rotation rate when cutting a project was really slow. The rapid and jogging speeds were really fast though. After researching the problem, here is what I found. The slow rotary cuts are due to mixing distance and angular units. In the G-code produced by most hobby or mid-range CAM tools like Vectrix, VCarve, and Aspire programs, they specify feed rates and distance per minute. For example, the F80 command is equal to 80 inches per minute, which is a decent cut rate. But if this is interpreted with a rotary move, this ends up being equal to 80 degrees per minute, which would take about four and a half minutes for a full rotational cut. And that's really slow. A solution to this problem is to convert the standard G94 mode, which is distance per minute feed rate, to a G93 inverse time mode which specifies how long each tool movement should take instead of specifying a feed rate. This allows for a mixed rotary and XYZ movements to occur at the same time quickly. But most CAM tools don't output G93. So I wrote the program Rapid Rotary to solve this. Here is the basics of how the program works. It calculates the distance of travel for each line in the G-code. The total linear distance is calculated using the generalized Pythagorean theorem, which states that the distance is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the different axes. So d equals the square root of dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. and the rotational distances use the current z-axis height to convert rotations to tooltip travel distances using the properties of a circle. Namely that the arc length traveled is equal to the change in the angle times the radius. So in this case the uh, angle is measured in radians and the uh, radius is essentially the location of the tool in the z-axis. Once the distance is calculated, then you can divide that by the current feed rate, and this gives the time it takes to execute that particular line. Or in other words, the time is equal to the distance divided by the feed rate. Now I'll demonstrate how to use the program. So the first thing you do is you click on the Browse button to specify the g-code file that's output by your CAM program. So after you select it, uh, the tool automatically adds a name for the output file by appending the underscore g93 name. If you want to rename it, just hit the browse button. The next is you fill in the z0 offset distance. It's zero if you plan to set your rotary axis z0 on the a-axis. If you was Plan to touch off the top of the material, enter the radius for your material. The next is the conversion mode. Uh, the default is to wrap the entire file. However, if you're just doing an indexed mode, you can choose to wrap uh, just the rotary moves in the G93. Uh, next, select your distant units, either inches or millimeters. And then finally hit the convert file button. And this will go through the entire G code to parse it and it gives the details in the area below. To test the program, I used a simple example project in Aspire. The project was created with the rotary widget. The material setup places the Z0 point on the rotary axis. You can preview the wrapped shape by going to the tool paths menu, selecting the Tool path drawing and then wrap X values or Y values. Finally, save the toolpath with the rotary post processor. I include an example post processor with the app. Be sure the wrap settings are appropriate for your setup.
process the toolpath file with the Rapid Rotary program. I use the default values for the settings because the Z0 point is on the rotary axis, and I also want to use G93 mode for the entire file. Then, I copied the files to the Linux CNC controller and set up the material. The run with the original G94 file is shown on the left. Concurrently, the rapid rotary output file is on the right. You can easily see the speed difference between the two. The G94 toolpath took 23 minutes and 45 seconds to complete, while the G93 version took only 4 minutes and 37 seconds. <laughs>